Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. On this early Saturday morning, we're going to take, a, for me, a first look at Out of the Ballpark 20. I played one quick game before I had my uh, wonderful interview with W. Voggs. Check out that channel with Will. That's W. Voggs. We did that a little earlier. Then we had a fun stream with IV Gesture. And then I was also with uh, Cylon Johns, which was a lot of fun, and Living My Rhapsody, and Dave Little, all kinds of great streams going on in the community tonight. As Captain Carl is here at the ballpark, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for uh, telling me about that strat sale. I don't get those emails, so I think I'm going to pick up some of those, uh, excuse me, sip of water, some of those seasons on strat. You get buy four, you get one free in reality. So... But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're going to look at Out of the Ballpark 20. And we're just going to look at the animations today. And I picked Game 1 of the 1973 World Series. The Metropolitans taking on the Oakland Athletics. The Mets came out of nowhere <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, win the National League Championship Series as they upset the Reds with barely over 500 record. And the A's were... In their dynasty mode, this would be their second World Series, three in a row, five division titles in a row, I believe. Ken Castro's at the ballpark, too. And Captain Carl says, <clears throat> did you know Kurt Schilling's a big fan of Out of the Ballpark? Yes, I did. All right, let's get to the ball game here. Thank you for joining me on this early morning of baseball. Ken doesn't sleep, though. So we don't have to worry about that. Robbie should be joining us. I'm just kidding. At some point, he doesn't sleep either. All right, so I'm going to play as the New York Mets of 1973. Leading off, third baseman Wayne Garrett batting second. Felix Mian playing second, batting third. In his final year of Major League Baseball, the aged Say Hey Kid Willie Mays in center. Batting fourth in left field, Cleon Jones. Batting fifth at first base, John Milner. Batting sixth, doing the catching, Jerry Grody. Batting seventh in right field, Don Hahn. Batting eighth, the shortstop, Bud Harrelson, who got into a brawl with Pete Rose in the National League Championship Series in 1973. And a play at second base. Batting ninth, doing the pitching, John Matlack. Tom Seaver did not start game one of the series. It was John Matlack and Sim Salabim. There's Robbie. How you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. As Robbie says, and this will push the introductory draw of my World Cup baseball on out of the ballpark back to after the conclusion of this. You got to show me how to do that, my friend. I want to do that. The World Cup of baseball, how you're setting it up. W. Vogs is in the chat. He's at the ballpark. Check out that great channel. We had a fun time with our little sort of interview show. He'll be back on. At a later date, for the Oakland Athletics, the American League champions, and I think they beat the Orioles for the ACA, uh, American League Championship Series in 73. Yeah, because they beat Detroit in 72. So, Burke Campanera is playing short, leading things off, followed by the left fielder, Joel Rudy, batting third, the third baseman, Sal Bando. Reggie Jackson's in center, batting fourth. Gene Tennis is at first base, batting fifth. Batting sixth, Jesus Alou, one of the Alou brothers, in right. Batting seventh, doing the catching, Ray Fossey. And batting eighth, the second baseman, Dick Green. Batting ninth, and doing the pitching for the Oakland Athletics, Ken Holtzman. Let's see. Let's go down a little. Oh, you know, I didn't set the... I wanted to make the... Let's make the ball size fielders. Ah, you got to do that. That's too late. I want to make the fielders a little larger. Okay. I think we will make the ball size... Normal. Alrighty, let's start the game. Again, thank you for joining us. Here, our first look at Out of the Ballpark 20. As Ken Caster says, Robbie, here he is on cue. That was funny after I just said that. Yeah, that'd be cool, Robbie. A tutorial video on that. Beatles does some good stuff on that too, but um, 
Yeah, I want to set up like what you just described, a world baseball sort of classic. So here we go. All right. We're going to, this is the modern 3D view. When I play a season, I'll just show you quickly if you've not seen one of my streams for this before. I play, when I play a season, because I just get a little more information, I play the classic 3D view. And you just get a little more information here. Especially it starts to fill in when you're playing the season. But because we're playing a World Series, we will play the modern 3D view, which is a little sharper. I like to play with the, this is the wide camera angle. And this is the overhead. I don't like the overhead so much. Well, that's not so bad. It doesn't cut off the catcher. But I like the wide view. The animations are tremendous. They have improved. Let's go back to the wide camera view. I like that a little better. And normally I have the players a little bigger, but you have to set that before you start the game. So I am playing as the Oakland, uh, um, sorry, as the New York Mets. On the mound for the Athletics is Ken Holtzman. In 1973, Holtzman was 21 and 13 with a 2.97 earned run average, striking out 157, walking 66. Ray Fossey's behind the plate, and he's a 7 out of 10 arm, 7 out of 10 defense. Bando below average at 30, 4 out of 10. Campanera's 10 out of 10 at short, he's outstanding. Dick Green above average to very good at second, 7 out of 10. And Gene Tennis, well, he's average at first, 5 out of 10. We go with a 1 through 10 rate scale, the way I play the game. And there's different type of ratings. Some people use 20 to 80, 1 through 100, so on and so forth. I like 1 through 10. Joe Rudy's in left, 8 out of 10 defensive uh, capability, 5 out of 10 arm. Reggie Jackson in center, 4 out of 10 defensive range capability, 5 out of 10 arm. And Jesus Alou, 5 out of 10 for defensive range capability, and 6 out of 10 arm. So here comes Wayne Garrett. And Wayne Garrett in 1973, make sure it's the same numbers there. Wayne Garrett batted. 256 and it is the same numbers excellent so he batted 256 16 homers 58 ribbies and against left-handed pitching he's an average contact and power above average eye Holtzman throws some, uh, strikes Garrett will be swinging away here's the pitch from Ken Holtzman World Series game one on the way 1-0 count At some point, the pitch will come. I should have sped it up a bit. Here's the pitch. Look at that. And that is a shot down to Tennis, who takes it to the bag himself, one away. The animation is excellent. And I have to do the settings to speed up the um, the play-by-play uh, -play text. Um, I'll do that later. All right, so one out, no one on for Felix Mian, the second baseman. Mian batted 293 homers, 37 runners knocked in. Solid bunter. Contact against lefties, excellent. 8 out of 10 power. He's not much power. 2 out of 10 eye. He'll chase a bit. 4 out of 10. He's going to try to bunt for a hit. Here's the pitch from Holtzman. He squares the bunt and he misses. So try to surprise drag bunt there. No balls, one strike. Bando moves in at third now for Oakland. Mian chokes up a bit on the bat. Fossey sets a target. Holtzman kicks and deals. One, two count. And that's a ground ball to Campaneers at short. Long throw. They get Mian by a couple of steps. Two away. So two outs. Base is empty. And here comes the aging at the end of his career, Willie Mays. He only batted 211 for the Metropolitan. Six homers, 25 ribbies. Contact below average. Power is average. Eye ah, still pretty good, though. Holtzman nods his head. Fossey sets the target. Here's the pitch to Mays. One, two count. He's in the hole. Strike three swinging. He blew that ball past Willie. So one, two, three. Go the Metropolitans. Two up for the Oakland Athletics, Campaneras, Rudy, and Bando. 
John Matlack is on the mound. 14 wins, 16 losses, 3.20 earned run average. He struck out 205, walked 99. Quality of pitches, very good, 7 out of 10. Movement, excellent, 8 out of 10. Control average, 5 out of 10. Stamina, 10 out of 10. Holds runner, 7 out of 10. Behind the plate, Jerry Grody, 7 out of 10 arm, 7 out of 10 defense. Garrett's a 7 at 3rd. Harrelson's an 8. And Mian's a 7. Solid right there. And John Milner's a 5 at 1st. Cleon Jones is in left field, 5 out of five, uh, five out of 10 defense, 5 out of 10 arm. Willie May is still a good defender when it comes to range. 8 out of 10 defense, arm below average, 4 out of 10 in center. And Don Hahn, 5 out of 10 defense and range. 4 out of 10 R. So here comes Burt Campaneras, 250, 4 homers, and 46 ribbies. 6 out of 10 contact, 2 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 eye. And again, it's going to tell you the real numbers here. They'll give you uh, different uh, stats here. Um, Dave Garter and I were chatting today, and I would like them to tell you what they did in their last at-bat. That'd be cool. I, don't, I didn't see a setting for that. I mean, you can go to the box score, but I'd like to see. There's so much room here. I like to see something like they do in Action PC. So Campanera is a pretty good bunter. We're going to have to respect that. I'm going to bring my corners in. Corners in, so Garrett in at third, Milner in at first. Here's the pitch from Matt Lack to Burt Campanera's 2-2 count from the lefty to Campy. Right. Swing and a miss. He chased on that outside pitch. Nice animation. The animation is very sharp. I like it a lot. Original Grognard in the chat. How you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. Check out that great military strategy channel. Also check out Robbie Warper as he just started streaming. And all the other friends of the community. Remember to check out W. Vogs, excellent card collecting channel. All right, here's Joe Rudy. One out, no one on. Rudy, 270, 12 homers, 66 ribbies. 7 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 3 out of 10 on. Against left-handed pitcher. He's a normal hitter. Brody sets the target. Here's the pitch to Rudy. He swings at the first pitch. Grounds it to short. Harris is up with Harrelson's up with it, excuse me. Throws the first two away. Base is empty for Sal Bando, the third baseman. Knocked in 98 runners with 29 by birdies. And a 287 batting average. Bando, 8 out of 10 contact, 7 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 high. On deck, the dangerous Reggie Jackson. Grody wiggles the fingers. Matlack nods his head. He kicks and deals to Bando. 0-2 oh, count. Bando in the hole. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That ball dipped away to the outside. And we're complete with one. We go to the top of the second. Retro replay of game one of the 1973 World Series between the New York Mets and the Oakland Athletics. No score. Due up for the Mets. Jones, Milner, and Brody to face Ken Holtzman. Cleon Jones in 1973 batted 260 with 11 homers and 48 ribbies. 7 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 eye. He is a right-handed normal batter. Fossey wiggles the fingers. Holtzman quickly nods his head. The windup and the pitch to Cleon Jones. 2-2 two -two count to Jones. And a swing and a miss. Lots of strikeouts. A's throw the ball around the infield. One out, no one on for John Milner. Left-handed batting first baseman. 239, 23 homers, knocked in 72. 5 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 for power and eye. Remember, Holtzman throws strikes. You have to be ready to grip and rip. Infield, outfield, straightaway and normal. Kenny's ready. He deals to John Milner. 1-2 count. Milner in the hole. And that's punch shallow center. Coming in is Reggie Jackson. Going out is Campaneras. And Campaneras calls off Dick Green. And he makes the catch. So you have Jackson coming in. Campy the shortstop going out. And Dick Green the second baseman going out. And Campaneras gets the prize. Two outs. Base is empty for the Mets catcher Jerry Grody. Grody 256. One home run. 32 ribbies. 5 out of 10 contact. Power, non-existent practically. 1 out of 10. I he will chase 3 out of 10. He's a right-handed pull hitter. Hayes play their infield, outfield, normal, straight away. Ken Holtzman, I forgot to tell you. Quality of pitches, below average. He has to hit his spots because if he doesn't, he can be hit. But movement and control, excellent. 
He can spot the ball. 8 out of 10 for both. Here's the pitch from Holtzman to Grody. 2-1 count. Grody in the commander's seat. He rips a shot over the leaping bando into left. So Grody gets ahead in the count and singles with two outs. Grody very slow at first. That will bring up Don Hahn. He's in right field. Has the lefties on the mound. Staub has the day on the bench. Staub also got injured in the 73 season. Could hardly throw the ball late in the year. In fact, you can see footage of him basically throwing the ball in the World Series to someone else to throw in or underhand, really like sidearm. So Don Hahn batted 229, two homers, 21 ribbies. 5 out of 10 contact, 3 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 high. He's a right-handed normal batter. Brody at first. Tennis playing behind him. Holtzman. He's ready. He deals to Hahn. 2-2 two -two count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with the off-speed pitch. We go to the bottom of the second. Scoreless here in the Coliseum. Bobby Cantalano, my Twitter wife, is in the chat. How you doing, my friend? My Twitter wife. Bobby Cantalano. Due up for the A's. Jackson, Tennis, and Alou to face the lefty for the Mets. John Matlack. Reggie Jackson, 293, 32 homers, 117 runners driven in. 7 out of 10 contact, 8 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 high. Left-handed normal hitter. Mets infield, outfield, straight away in normal. Grody goes through the sides. Matlack nods his head in acknowledgement. The windup and the pitch to Reggie Jackson. 2-2 two -two count. And Jackson grounds to first and throwing... Milner throws to Matlack, and Jackson beats it out. The infield hit on the bang-bang play, so Reggie Jackson hustling all the way. Infield hit, and now bring up Gene Gino Tennis. He's playing first base today for the A's. 6 out of 10 contact, 8 out of 10 power, 10 out of 10 high. 24 home runs, 84 ribbies, 259 batting average. Right-handed pull hitter. The infield will shift left. Outfield plays straight away in normal. Jackson, good speed and stealing ability at first. Milner holding him on. Matlack throws over. Jackson was leaning. Oh, he just barely gets back. Again, Matlack looks to first. Now picks up the side from Grody. He deals to Tennis. 2-1 count. Tennis in the driver's seat. And that's going to be punched to short. Double play. Nice. As that goes, Harrelson to Mian to Milner. Harrelson showing good reaction. Ball wasn't hit that hard, but they turned two. So two outs, base is empty, and here comes Jesus Alou, one of the three Alou brothers. Alou batted 282, two home runs, 19 ribbies, and 163 at-bats. He is a right-handed spray hitter. Will use all, all the field. 5 out of 10 contact, power and eye, 3 out of 10. Matt Lack's ready. Here's the pitch to Jesus Alou. 1-1 one, one count, Alou swings the lumber. And he rips a shot into right center field. A good piece of hitting by Jesus Alou. Double play is huge there. So instead of uh, having other runners on, the double play cleared the bases. So there's two outs. Alou's at first, and here comes Ray Fossey, the catcher, who was bowled over by Pete Rose in the All-Star game. 256, 7 homers, 52 ribbies. Good contact hitter. 6 out of 10. Power and eye, 3 out of 10. Fossey will chase. Right-handed normal hitter. Alou very slow at first. Matlack takes a quick look to first. Now in at the plate. Here's the pitch to Ray Fossey. Full count to Fossey. And he walked him. Good job. Oh! I thought they're... Oh, wow. They throw back to the pitcher. I was like, why is he throwing to second? He was throwing back to the pitcher. That's cool. They don't normally do that, or I never really paid attention. I like the animation a lot. They have improved on the animation. T-Dub, what's blazing in sports, is here at the ballpark, along with Bobby Cantalano, as I said earlier, and many other luminaries, such as Ken Castro and Robbie Warburg, the original Grognard, Captain Carl. W. Voggs. So they're all here at the ballpark. Check out what's blazing in sports. A wonderful boxing channel. Had a great live stream today. So two outs, two on for the number eight batter, Dick Green. you got to pitch careful to him. Pitcher's on deck. Green 
262, 3 homers, 42 ribbies, 6 out of 10 contact, 2 out of 10 power, 4 out of 10 eye. We're going to go with a pitch around. Let's see if he chases and beats it into the ground. Matlack deals the green pitch around. And shallow fly ball to center. And moving to his right, making the catch is the center fielder, Willie Mays. We go to the top of the third, scoreless, so the pitch around worked. Due up for the Metropolitans, Har Harrelson, Matlack in the top of the order, Wayne Garrett, Bud Harrelson, the shortstop, who started that magnificent double play, batted 258, no homers, 20 ribbies. 6 out of 10 contact, 1 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 eye. Bunting below average. Holtzman's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Bud Harrelson. 3-1 count. Harrelson grounds to Dick Green at second, out number one. It's been a pitcher's duel early in this game. One out, no one on. And Holtzman will face his counterpart, John Matlack. Matlack batted 138, did have two runners knocked in. He was sick. He was nine for 65. He's going to try to drop a drag bunt. Here's the pitch to Matlack. He squares for the drag bunt. And he missed. Good movement. So the count's 0-1. Bando moves in at third. Here's the drag bunt again. He mit Oh, he fouled, tipped that one back to the screen. So 0-2 count. Matlack looks down. The bunt's off. He chokes up on the bat. No balls, two strikes. The windup and the pitch to John Matlack from Ken Holtzman. Swing and a miss. He was just overmatched on that. A's throw the ball around the infield. Two outs, no one on top. The order, Wayne Garrett. And he's 0 for 1. Now, I'd like to see right over here somewhere extend this box up a little bit. And I'd like to see, like, his 0 for 1 ground out to wherever or fly out or strike out, you know? I would like to see that. Sometimes they put that over here once in a while. But right now we're getting the season totals. All right, two outs. Garrett, left-handed, normal hitter. Awaits the Holtzman offering. Here's the pitch homeward bound. 1-2 count to Wayne Garrett. And he punches that ball to the left side. Campanera's long throw, and they get Garrett by a step. Good, strong throw by Campy, and the side is retired. As Ken Castro says, yes, I have to cover the two days of NCAA Women's Division I Hockey Championship in Connecticut. Very cool, Ken. Very cool. Sports writer extraordinaire from the great state of Rhode Island. Due up for the A's. Holtzman in the top of the order. Campanera's and Rudy. Ken Holtzman. Uh, had no at-bats because in 1973 there was a DH in the American League. Matlack deals quickly to Holtzman. One-two count. Will he strike him out? Strike he gets him looking. Inside portion of the plate. One away. Now bring up Campaneras. Shortstop's 0 for 1. Again, we're going to play corners in because he's a very good, he's a solid bunter. Bunt for a hit, 6 out of 10. So we're going to play corners in. Garrett in at third, Milner at first. Here's the pitch to Burke Campaneras. 2-2 two -two count for Matlock. Strike three. And he yeah. strikes him out outside corner. Back-to-back -back Ks. Can he strike out the side now? And Joe Rudy, the animation is excellent in this game. And once I enlarge the models, you can see it even better. Joe Rudy is 0 for 1. Digs in the right-hander's batter's box, ready to grip and rip. Matlock has other ideas. Grody sets the target. Here's the pitch to Rudy. 0-2 count. Rudy in the hole. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The lefty John Matlack retires the side. 1-2-3 via the K. The Mets go jogging in to the dugout. We go to the top of the fourth game. 1, 1973 World Series retro replay. As Bobby says hello again to me. Hello, Bobby. Well, hello, Bobby. Oh, well, hello, Bobby. Do up for the Mets. Mian, Mays, and Jones to face Ken Holtzman. Been a pitcher's duel through three. Holtzman nods his head. Fossey sets the target. Here's the pitch to Felix Mian. One, two count to Felix. And Felix punches that ball shallow right coming in as Jesus uh, Alou. And he makes the catch. One away to the cheers of the Oakland A's fans here at the Coliseum. And that will bring up Willie Mays. Last year of baseball, the aged Say Hey Kid. 
He's old for one. Can Mays turn back the hands of time? Mets fans hope so. A's fans, not so much. Here's the pitch to Mays from Holtzman. 0-2 oh, count. Willie in the hole. Sweet. Oh, swing and a miss. The ball gets away from Fossey. He throws down the first. Did they get him? Yes. Great stretch by Tennis. The swing and the miss on the third strike. The ball bounced off Ray Fossey's shin guard down the third baseline. He quickly pounced on it and threw to first. So two outs, base is empty for Cleon Jones. He's old for one. Cleon had 11 home runs in 73. Holtzman, he's ready to work. He deals to Jones. 1-2 count to Cleon Jones. Jones grounds to the right side. Green throws to first, and the side is retired. A's fans give Holtzman a standing ovation. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Scoreless here in Game 1, 1973 retro replay using Out of the Park Baseball 20. Our first look on the channel. The animation is excellent. Remember, if you have any questions about Out of the Ballpark 20, leave them in the comments after the video loads up to YouTube. And uh, we'll take a look at that together in another video. Right now, we're just really looking at animation. And it's excellent. <sighs> Sip of water. Bando, Jackson, and Tennis do up for the Oakland Athletics in the bottom of the fourth. Bando is 0 for 1 off Matlack. The windup and the pitch from Matlack to Bando. Bando's going to swing at the first pitch here. And he shoots that up the middle. Past the lunge of the second baseman, Felix Mian. So a leadoff single for Sal Bando. Not very fast when it comes to speed at first, but his stealing ability, quite good, 7 out of 10. But will he get the lead? That's the question. Here comes Reggie Jackson. He's one for one. Milner holding on Bando. Matlack throws over. Bando's back. Got his hand in there. Matlack takes a peek to first, now looks in at Jerry Grody. Here's the pitch to Jackson. 0-2 oh, count. Jackson is a whole swing and a miss. Another strikeout for the lefty John Matlack. And that's his sixth in the game. Sinking fastball at 89 miles per hour. Ken Castro asks, Al, are the 19th century teams available? Yes, they are. We will look at that. Uh, put that in a comment below so I remember and we'll take a look at that. Or afterwards, if we have enough time, we'll take a look. So Bando's at first. Here comes Gene Tennis. A good double double play, Ken. He's not very fast. He does hit the ball hard. He's 0 for 1. Right-handed pull hitter. The infield will shift left. Outfield play straight away and normal. Mian, right behind that second base bag. There's a big hole on that right side if Tennis can punch it that way. Here's the pitch from Matlack to Gene Tennis. 1-0. Tennis is going to swing the lumber. And he launches a shot to left. And gone. Gino Tennis has just put the Oakland Athletics ahead 2-0. What a crunch shot by Gene Tennis. That went 398 feet. And the A's grab a 2-0 lead. Holy crap. That was a no-doubter. Let's watch that replay. Go to the replay here. Once I remember where replays are. Uh, replay. I never can remember under the classic view. I mean, under the modern 3D view where replay is. Maybe it's under options. Replay. Here's the pitch. Boom, tennis crushes that ball. Left center. What did I say, Maze out and left? That's, that's a Cleon Jones, my full pop. And I just noticed we have play-by-play -play speed. Now let's do that a little faster. There we go. All right. So one out, two nothing, thanks to the Gene Tennis homer. And here comes the number six batter, Jesus Alou. He is one for one. They finally break through against John Matlack, the A's do. Matlack deals to Alou. 1-0 count. Alou's going to swing the lumber. 
It's a number in front of the plate. And that's out number one. Grody quickly pounced on it and threw to first. So two outs. Out number two, excuse me. Two outs. And now bring up Ray Fossey. He walked in his first plate appearance. Infield, outfield, straight away in normal. Two nothing A's. Thanks to the tennis home run. The wind up and the pitch to Fossey. 1 1 count. And that's grounded to Garrett at 30. Fires to Milner. And the side is retired, but the A's break out through to the other side with a two run homer from Gene Gino Tennis. We go to the top of the fifth. Game one of the 73 World Series retro replay, 2 0 A's. Due up for the Mets, trailing by two Milner, Grody, and Hahn to face Kenny Holtzman. Holtzman has gone four innings, only given up one hit, struck out five, walked none. Milner is 0 for 1. Lefty lefty matchup. Here's the pitch to Johnny Milner. Full count. And he walked. Oh, boy. Holtzman and Fossey wanted the call. They didn't get it. Tying run comes to the plate. And the catcher, Jerry Grody, he's one for one. He did single. And we're going to play hit and run. Milner goes in motion. Grody swings the lumber. Grounds it. The bando is only plays the first. That's one out, but moving to second is Johnny Milner. Here comes Don Hahn. Hahn is all for one. Infield, outfield, straight away in normal. Milner, a slow-footed runner, 2 out of 10. Stealing ability, 8 out of 10, though. Holtzman peeks over his shoulder. Now in at the plate. Fossey sets the target. Here's the pitch to Don Hahn. Hahn swings at the first pitch. Right side. Tennis has it. Races to the first base back for out number two. Advancing to third is Johnny Milner. Yes, I did load up the pitchers. D. Scott Howard in the chat. So I did load up the pitchers. I just took them. I copied my picture, my photo file, from where it's located now, the ballpark 19. I just uh, highlighted and copied to the end. And I took that and I put it. And out of the ballpark 20. And the photos all populated. I was very happy about that. I'm next going to... Well, I might not. I can actually just take the ballparks right out of, out of the ballpark 19. As long as I don't uninstall it. So I'll just keep that the way it is. That's So yes, they, the pictures loaded up quite nicely. So how are you doing, D. Scott? Thank you for joining us. All right, two outs, Milner at third, and here's Bud Harrelson on deck, John Matlack. Let's see how they pitch to Harrelson. I would think they pitch quite carefully to Bud. Let's see if they give him anything to hit. Holtzman kicks and deals to Bud Harrelson, 0-1. Harrelson punches that ball right side, Green showing great range. Throws to first, and Gene Tennis, the side is retired. Good range by Green. Milner stranded at third. We go. To the bottom of the fifth, 2 0, 1973 Oakland A's in this 73 World Series over the Metropolitans. Game one in our retro replay. No, loading pitchers is not hard to do, Robbie. I can explain that in the Discord one of these days. All right, do up for the A's. Green and then put them in the comments. Whatever you want to know, put them in the comments. So I because it's easier for me to look at the comments. Joesters, card and coins. How you doing, my friend? Check out that channel. Please subscribe to all the wonderful content creators in the chat and in our community. And Joesters is a part of it, just like W Vogs and some other card collecting channels, such as MP Fox and and Evengi Crosby. Oh my God, I said the name properly. Thank God. And here comes Dick Green. He is 0 for 1, followed by Holtzman and Bert Campaneros. Matlack deals the green. 1-2 count. Green in the hole. Strike three. And he strikes out swinging. Foul tip. Brody held on to it. And that is Matlack's seventh strikeout. The one mistake he made. The two-run homer to Gene Tennis. Thus the 2 nothing lead. Beatles eternally is in the chat. Hello, Beatles. Well, hello, Beatles. We're always wishing you the best, my friend. Beatles and I are going to make an album. And he's shaking his head. I can't see him, but I envision Beatles shaking his head going, No, we're not, Al. And again, Beatles eternally. Out of the ballpark, 12. Uh, 12, Jesus, Al. 20. All right, one out, no one on for Ken Holtzman. He will hit for himself. He's going to choke up. Lefty, lefty matchup. Here's the pitch to Holtzman for Matt Lang. 
And Holtzman rips a shot down the left field line. Will he dig for two? He's digging for two. Here's the lollipop throw in the second. Not in time. Holy schmoly. Holtzman choked up on that bat and just ripped that ball down the left field line. Cleon Jones, lollipop throw in, does not beat Holtzman to the second base back. That is worth a replay. Ken Holtzman, the pitcher, who did not have an at-bat in 1973 because there's a DH in the American League by then. Let's watch that over. And again, I can't remember where the hell the replay was. Uh, it's over here. Options. There we go. Kenny Holtzman, watch this. Bam! Right down. Right down the third base line, over the bag, past the lunge of Wayne Garrett. And here's that lollipop throw in. So Holtzman, one out, stands at second base. He helps out his own cause. Can Burt Campaneras continue to help the cause? He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Campy. He swings at the first pitch, and that's a base hit up the middle. Charging it is Willie Mays. They're waving Holtzman, and Mays will throw to the cutoff, and Burt Campaneras does help the cause. It's now 3-0 Oakland Athletics. And here comes Joe Rudy, and Burt Campaneras, a very dangerous base runner at first. 9 out of 10 for speed. And stealing ability. As everyone's saying hello to Beatles eternally. Beatles is the, the man when it comes out of the ballpark. He knows all. He's going to be putting up some tutorial videos when he said he, if he has time. And we always look forward to that. We always wish our good friend Beatles, whatever you're going through, my friend, I know a little bit about it. You told me some stuff. I wish you the best. Everyone wishes the best. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. God bless, my friend. So Milner holding Campy on. Matlack throws over. Campy's back. Here's Joe Rudy 0 for 2. We're going to pitch out of the hold runner on. Again, Matlack looks to first. Now he deals to Rudy. 0-1. And Rudy sends that ball past. Harrelson into left. Oh, that was a hard hit ball. Harrelson could not get to it. And here come the Oakland Athletics. They're up 3-0. They scored two in the fourth and now one in the fifth. And there's only one out, two on for Sal Bando. He's one for two. He had 29 homers and 98 ribbies with a 287 batting average in 1973. Matlack on the ropes. The A's trying to knock him out. Grody goes through the signs. Here's the pitch to Bando. Bando's going to swing at the first pitch. The throw down to third. Campy steals third. Bando did not swing. They gave Campanaris the opportunity to steal third, and he sure did. So first and third. And we're going to play double play depth. Pitcher's best friend. We need that now. Harrelson and Mian pinch the middle. Rudy is slow runner at first. 0-1 count to Bando. Matlack rocks and deals. Full count. Oh, boy. High fly ball. Right center field. Mays racing over. He'll make the catch. Campaneras will not tag. Holy cow. Burt Campaneras has a brain fart. He doesn't tag. He should have scored easily, in my opinion. Mays did quickly catch it and release, but that quick throw home was pretty much a lollipop. But Campy does not challenge Mays. Maybe it's the Say Hey Kids legend. I think that's what it was, so Campanera still stands at third with two outs. At first is Rudy, and at the plate, Reggie Jackson, he's one for two. Three-nothing A's. Matlack needs to get Jackson to keep it a three-run deficit. He nods his head. Grody sets the target. Here's the pitch to Jackson. One-one count to Reggie. Reggie, shallow fly ball, left center field, and Jones makes the running catch. The A's get off uh, quite cheaply. They only get one. We go to the top of the six. The Mets, nothing. Oakland, three. Due up for the Metropolitans. Matlack, Garrett, and Mian. Sixth inning. Do we want John Matlack to hit for himself? Let's just take a quick look to see who we have on our bench. The Mets do not have a stellar team. We do have La Grande Alarange, Rusty Staub, but I'd like to save him. George Theodore. Cranepool's a lefty. Uh, Boswell's a lefty. I like Kenny Boswell. 
We have three catchers. I like when we carry three catchers. Ron Hodges, a lefty. Duffy Dwyer. Ted Martinez is a righty. Five out of ten contact. Do we want Matt Lack to hit for... Oh, boy. Sixth inning. Ray Sadecki. He's good for three innings, approximately. 3-3-9. Harry Parker is good for 2-3-3-5. He's a righty. Andrews, 5-3-8. Won't see the buzz. Capra, 3-8-6. We're going to go with Harry Parker. is going to get up. He's got a bunch of righties coming. So Harry Parker is going to get up. And I think we will pinch it for John Matlack. I'm going to say his day is done. Sixth inning, down three. Ted Martinez will pinch it for John Matlack as Harry Parker... Starts to warm in the bullpen. That's what we're going with. So here comes Ted Martinez, the pinch hitter for John Matlack. John Matlack's day is done. Yeah, let's go to the box score. Once I remember how to get to the box score in modern view. Those are widgets. Here. Box score. So John Matlack... Can only lose it. He went five innings, seven hits, three runs, all of them earned, one walk. He struck out seven. He gave up that big two-run blast to Gene Tennis. And here's Ted Martinez, 255, one homer, 14 ribbies. Five out of ten contact, two out of ten power, three out of ten out. Holtzman deals to Martinez, the pinch hitter, 3-1 count. Martinez in the driver's seat, and he shoots a shot past the dive of Tennis into right. He takes a wide turn but thinks better of it and retreats to first as Jackson throws the ball back into the infield. So Martinez comes through. Take care, Bobby. Thank you for stopping by. So here's Wayne Garrett. Garrett is 0 for 2. Left-handed batter awaits the left-handed offering from Ken Coltsman. Here it is. Homeward bound. Full count to Garrett. Swing and a miss. Wow. Inside pitch, he couldn't deal with it. And that is strikeout number six for Ken Holtzman with one walk. So again, Martinez at first. Five out of ten speed, six out of ten stealing ability. Tennis holding him on. Here's Felix Mian on deck, Willie Mays. Here's the hit and run. There goes Martinez. Ground ball to third. Bandos up with it. He throws to first. Two down. We were hoping that Mian would hit a hole. He did not. So two outs. Martinez will be off on contact at second base. The A's are up 3-0 over the Metropolitans. Here's Willie Mays. 0 for 2 again. Can Willie Mays turn back the hands of time? We shall see. Holtzman peeks over his shoulder towards second. Now looks in at Fossey. Fossey sets the target. Here's the pitch to Mays. Mays sends that ball down the left field line on the run is Rudy and he makes the catch in the side and Fred are both retired. Ace fans loving it. And now George, I'm sorry, Harry Parker. I think we're going to go double switch here. Sacrilegious, but I'm going to take... I think we're going double switch here. Mays is going to come out of the game. Again, we're not playing. I played with as played lineups and pitching, but I'm not going to look at who they used and all that stuff. I have it up, but I'm not going to do it. So Harry Parker will come in. Willie Mays will go out, as we're going to go with a double switch. So Parker will come in to pitch, and he'll go into the three slot in the batting. Don Hahn. It says here you can play center. Let's just see for ha -ha's. Uh, He's not horrible. Don Hahn will move from right to center field. Ted Martinez. Pretty sure he can only play second. Oh. 
Second, third, short. He could have played center field, but he's a three. I really don't want a three in center. We're going to bring in La Grande Alarange. Hurt arm at all off the bench. And he's going to go play right. He'll go into the nine slot. All right, so Harry Parker's on the mound. Parker was 8-4. and four. He had five saves in 73, 3.35 earned run average, striking out 63, walking 36. In right field is La Grande Alarange, rusty stop, 6 out of 10 defense, 9 out of 10 arm. And Don Hahn moves from right to center where he's 5 out of 10 defense, 4 out of 10 arm. Pretty much the same as Willie Mays. All right, here's Gene Tennis. He's one for two with a two-run homer. Again, right-handed pull hitter. Infield will shift left. Outfield straight away in normal. Mian right behind that second base bag. Here's the pitch from Parker to Tennis. 1-1 one, one count to Gino. And Gino drives that ball right field. Deep, deep, deep. And gone! Gene Tennis has just jacked his second home run. And it's now four to nothing. Harry Parker does not spell relief. He spells agita, which is heartburn in Italian. Oh, my Lord. Gene Tennis crushed that to right center. 418. As Stab just went back to the track, looked up, and watched the ball go bye-bye birdie. As Gene Tennis, boom goes the ball. He touches them all. And here's the replay. Of Gene Tennis' second home run. Boom! And Gene Tennis touches them all. Boom goes the ball, as we say. And it's 4 nothing A's. They have a commanding lead. And Holtzman is wheeling and dealing on the mound. That could be insurmountable. And here comes Jesus Alou. He's one for two. How do you do? Here's the pitch from Parker to Alou. One, two count. Oh, he's in the hole. Swing and a miss. They came inside. Fastball. One down. Ray Fossey steps to the plate. He's 0 for one with a walk. Another right-handed batter. Brody wiggles. The finger sets the target. Here's the pitch to Fossey. 1-0. Fossey swings the lumber. And he pops it up. Foul territory coming in from first. But being called off by Grody. So Milner was coming in at first. Grody calls him off. The catcher makes the catch in foul territory near the on-deck circle. So two outs, base is empty for Dick Green, the number eight batter on deck. Ken Holtzman, Green is 0 for 2. Harry Parker nods his head. The wind-up and the pitch to Green. 2-2 two, two count. Strike. Swing and a miss. That ball just sunk away from him. But Gene Tennis bangs out his second home run. And the A's are now up 4 to nothing. We go to the top of the 7th. Mets need to get their bats going. But Holtzman has gone 6 innings, only given up 2 hits, no runs, 1 walk, struck out 6. It'll be Cleon Jones, Johnny Milner, and Jerry Grody. Jones is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Holtzman. 0-1 count to Cleon Jones. Cleon grounds it right side. Tennis up with it. And he throws to Holtzman covering the bag for out number 1. Holtzman is in that zone. Beatles Charlie says, in 1973, the A's finished six games ahead of Kansas City to win the American League West. Yep. He's telling Robbie, the A's in the early 70s were definitely baseball's power, Robbie. Yep. Beatles, correct me if I'm wrong, they won division titles from... 71 to 75, they would win the American League Championship Series, 72, 73, 74, and the three World Series, 72, 73, 74. They would lose to the Red Sox in 75, and then free agency decimated their team. So two outs, I'm sorry, one out, no one on. Johnny Milner at the plate for the Mets. Lefty-lefty matchup. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch from Holtzman to Milner. 0-1 count to Johnny Milner. And Milner rips her shot hard to the right side. Green's up with it. Out number 2. Green, excellent range at second. Holtzman 
rubs up the baseball. He's back up on the bump. He'll face Jerry Grody, who's one for two. Grody has one of the two hits off Holtzman. Here's the pitch to Grody. One, two count. Grody in the hole. Grody grounds a bando who throws across the diamond. Low to tennis and scoops out of the dirt. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for it. Root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes you're out at the old ball game. I'm a little ahead of the organist. So Harry Parker back up on the mound. He'll face Holtzman, Campanera's in Rudy. Here's the pitch to Holtzman from Parker. One, two, count. Remember, Holtzman doubled his last plate appearance. Not this time. Swing and a miss. He had a high leg kick there. Again, the animation's absolutely beautiful. One away. Here comes Burt Campanaris. He's one for three. He has stolen a base and knocked in a run. Corners move in against Campy. Again, very good punter. I think he's actually better than that six out of ten they give him. Here's the pitch to Campanaris from Harry Parker. And that's a base. Oh, Harrelson digs it out. The long throw, and they got him. Wow, what a play by Bud Harrelson. Deep, short, in the hole. He backhands it, fires quickly to first. A great stretch by John Milner. Two down, base is empty. They just nipped the speedy Burt Campanaris at first. And I'll bring up Joe Rudy's one for three. Right-handed normal hitter. Parker looks in. Brody sets the target. Here's the pitch to Rudy. 2-2 two -two count to Joe Rudy. And Rudy lines right back to Parker. Quick reaction. He was almost like Spider-Man, you could say. And the side is retired. We go to the top of the eighth. The Mets trail by four. Ken Holtzman so far, seven innings. Two hits, no runs, one walk, six Ks. He's going to face Don Hahn, Bud Harrelson, and Rusty Staub with a four-run lead. Hahn is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Don Hahn. 2-2 two -two count. Holtzman strikes him out swinging. Man, is he dealing. Fastball. Great movement on that fastball. And that's K, number 7. Here comes Bud Harrelson. He's 0 for 2. Harrelson switch hitter. Batting from the right side. Choking up on that bat. Fossey goes through the signs. Holtzman quickly nods his head. Pitch homeward bound to Bud Harrelson. 2-2 two -two count to Bud. And Harrison rips a shot down the right field line. This is going to be extra bases. Harrison hits first on the way to second. He might go for three. No, he's going to slide in as digging it out in the corner was Jesus Alude. So a one-out double. Here comes La Grande all around. Rusty Staub came in on the double switch when Han moved to center. And Mays came out. Staub, 279, 15 homers, 60, uh, 76 ribbies. Six out of ten against lefties when it comes to contact. Power drops from five to four. Eye stays the same at six. Left-handed pull hitter. Stop. Can he knock in a run for the Metropolitans? Holtzman deals to his left-handed batting counterpart. La Grande Alaranjo. Oh, two count. Stop in the hole. Stop. Punches it to Campanera's at short. Who throws to tennis at first. Two away. Holding at second was Bud Harrelson. And now top of the order. Third baseman, Wayne Garrett, another left-handed batter. He's 0 for 3. Harrelson will be off on contact. Garrett ready to grip and rip. The wind-up and the pitch to Garrett. 1-2 count. And he strikes him out looking outside corner. He froze Garrett on the off-speed pitch. <laughs> we go to the bottom of the eighth. It's looking great for the Athletics to take game one. They're up 4-0. Harry Parker back up on the bump for the Mets in relief of John Matlack, who will take the loss in game one, it looks like. It'll be Bando, Jackson, and Tennis for the Oakland Athletics. Bando is one for three. Here's the pitch from Parker to Bando. Bando swings at the first pitch, grounds it back to Parker, who throws to Milner at first, one away. Now bring up Reggie Jackson, one for three. Tremendous power. 32 home runs in 73. Infield, outfield, straightaway, and normal. Parker kicks and fires to Jackson. 0-1 count. Jackson swings the lumber. 
and he shoots that ball the other way down the left field line. Jackson hits first on his way to second, and he has a double with one out. So the A's trying to tack up some more runs. They're up 4 nothing, and here's Gene Tennis, player of the game. He is two for th three, two home runs and three ribbies. Can he hit another one out? Here's the pitch from Parker to Gino Tennis. And he walked him. Oh, boy. And now that's going to get some milling up in the bullpen for the Metropolitans. Ray Siddiqui to lefty. And Buzz Capper the righty. Stay away from... Tug McGrath closer as it seems a losing cause right now. So one out, two on. Jackson at second, Tennis at first, Alou at the plate. They're hoping for a double play ball. Parker at 35 pitches. He kicks and deals to Alou, full count. And that ball's grounded to first. Milner races to the back, steps on it. But the runners advance with two outs. Jackson's now at third, Tennis now at second. Beatles says it's interesting that you mention the A's dismantling out because they have a history of that going all the way back to Connie Mack when Connie Mack owned them. Very interesting, Beatles. I did not know that. We'll have to do a chat with that someday when you're able to. So here's Ray Fossey, two outs, two on. Green on deck. Fossey is 0 for 2. This could be it. In fact, let's go with a mound visit so Grody and the pitching coach go out to the mound Parker says I think I can get this out I think I can gut this out okay and Siddiqui and Capper continue to warm this will be it for Parker Grody back behind the plate squats down sets the target here's the pitch to Fossey he's in the hole 0-2 ground ball charging in off the mound is Parker. He throws to first, and they just get Fossey. Parker, slow to react, but got to it and fired to Milner. We go to the top of the ninth. Ken Holtzman, three outs away from a complete game victory and shutout, and a 4 nothing victory that it will be, and they will take game one in our retro replay of the 73 World Series. They'll have to face Mian, a pinch hitter for Parker, and Cleon Jones. So Sadeki and Capra are ready, but we're going to sit them down. They play with the warm-up rule. You don't have to play with the warm-up rule. You can change lots of things here. Again, we're just looking at the animation. Uh, guys, I'm just curious. How do you think? The, I think the animation is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to make the models a little larger. I forgot to do that. Uh, I think the animation and the ball strikes are excellent. All right, Neon is 0 for 3. Holtzman's line, 8 innings, 3 hits, no runs, 1 walk, 8 cave. He deals to Felix Neon. He swings at the first pitch. Pop up, foul territory. And Bando calls off Fossey. And the third baseman makes the catch. The A's two outs away from taking game one. Harry Parker will not hit. We're going to go with. George Theodore or Jim Bochamp. Jim Bochamp. Jim Bochamp will pinch hit for Harry Parker. Cleon Jones on deck. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that gentleman's name right. Jim Bochamp batted 279 and 61 at bats. No homers, 14 ribbies. They just need him to get on. 4 out of 10 contact, 3 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 eye. Holtzman throws K's. Here's the pitch to Bochamp. Bochamp swings at the first pitch. And he loops one in the left. So another pinch hit off the bench by the Metropolitans. Beals eternally says about Connie Mack dismantling the Athletics, the then Philadelphia Athletics. 
Uh, Matt knew he could get more money for players while they were still in their peak rather than holding on to them. You have to remember that there were no affiliated minor leagues in Matt's day. It's very interesting. So Bochamp with a one-out pinch hit single now bring up Cleon Jones who's over for three. Double play ends it here. Tennis holding Bochamp on. Holtzman takes a peek now looks in at Fossey. Here's the pitch to Cleon Jones. One-two count. Jones in the hole. Swing and a miss. The A's one out away from taking game one for nothing. Holtzman now has nine Ks. Will he end the game with a tenth? What pitching dominance by Kenny Holtzman and it's up to Johnny Milner who's 0 for 2 Milner lefty lefty matchup Bochamp will be off on contact Holtzman's ready to work he deals to Milner full count to Johnny Milner and Milner shallow fly ball to left Rudy coming in he squeezes it and the ball game is over the Oakland Athletics behind absolutely marvelous pitching effort by Ken Holtzman take game 1 over the Mets Four to nothing, powered on the offense by Gene Tennis, who hit two home runs. A two-run blast and a solo blast, driving in three. So game one goes to the Oakland A's. Now, let's go to the box score real quick, and we'll call it a stream. But let's just quickly look. I did some snippets of what actually happened. And where's the pitching? Here we go. So the pitching, I don't think you can see this, but I'm just going to read it to you. All right, so John Matlack went six innings. As my YouTube is going to die, I can sense it. John Matlack, in reality, went six innings. Three hits, two runs, two walks, three Ks. McGraw came in because it was a close game. He went two innings, one hit, no runs, one walk, one K. And Ken Holtzman went five. He only went five innings. He got the win. And it was fingers with the hold and Knowles with the save. And the, and the Mets actually uh, won the game two to one. In our game, the A's win four nothing. Ken Holtzman goes the distance. Co-players of the game with Gene Tennis. As nine innings, four hits, no runs, one walk, nine Ks. Gene Tennis went two for three, three ribbies, two homers, two runs scored, and he walked once. For the Mets, Matlack, five innings, seven hits, three runs, all of them earned, one walk, seven Ks. He gave up uh, a homer to Tennis. Then Parker pitched three. He gave up a homer to Tennis. Two hits, one run. It was earned. One walk, three Ks. The Mets could only get four hits. We'll just give you the hits. And two of them came from pinch hitters. Bochamp had a single. He was a pinch hitter. Grody had the first hit. Bud Harrelson had the second hit. Actually, Martinez, I think, had the second hit. So, Martinez was a pinch hitter. So, the only hits came from Bochamp, Grody, Harrelson, and Martinez. Other than that, everyone's an over. The strikeouts, Garrett struck out twice, Mays struck out twice, Jones struck out twice, Hahn struck out twice, Matlack once, there's your 9Ks. The Mets were 4 of 31, no ribbies, one walk, 9Ks. Oakland, Campanares was 1 for 4, the ribby, struck out twice. Joe Rudy, 1 for 4, he struck out once. Sal Bando, 1 for 4, the run scored, he struck out once. Reggie Jackson, 2 for 4 with a K. Gene Tennis, the offensive player of the game and co-MVP of the game with Ken Holtzman. 2 for 3, 2 home runs, 3 ribbies, 2 runs scored, and a walk. Jesus Alou, 1 for 4 with a strikeout. Ray Fossey, 0 for 3 with a walk. Green, 0 for 3 with 2 Ks. Ken Holtzman, 1 for 3. He doubled, scored a run, and he struck out twice. A's left 6 runners on base. The Mets, 4. So game one goes to the Oakland Athletics for nothing. Uh, I think the visual was, the, the animation's absolutely awesome in this game. So that was cool to see. If you have any other further questions, put them in the comments. And uh, 
we'll check them out later. I'd like to thank Beatles Eternally. Check out his channel. And we wish you all the best, Beatles. He says, yes, the only man during the 20th century to refuse to wear a uniform. Remember that he was also the owner of the A's. Yes, he wore a suit. And what are those, a tweed hat, I think? Thank you to Robbie Wartburg. Check out his channel. Moni G, how you doing? Moni G, the red-headed beauty. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. Uh, Ken Castro, sports writer extraordinaire. The original Grognar. Check out that great military strategy channel. What's blazing in sports, all things boxing? Please check out our good friend T-Dub. D. Scott Howard will have some goat videos up. Those are always fun, those cute little bastards. Don't fall asleep over there. They'll chew off your clothes. Bobby Cantalano, my Twitter wife. Jolster's Cards and Coins, another fun channel. W. Voggs, we had a fun little interview with him earlier, or yesterday actually, as it's Saturday morning here. Check out his channel. I think we got everybody. Captain Carl, thank you very much, my friend. I said the OG. Original Grognard, W. Vogs. So thank you. Hope everyone enjoyed it. That was our first look at Out of the Ballpark 20. If you have any questions, um, just put them in the chat, uh, in the uh, comments below, and we'll check them out. So again, hope everyone enjoyed. And I think the animation is really, really nice. Actually, let's leave the game first. Yes, let's make sure we save. We got some awards. Nice. Save game. And player of the game. Performances of the day. Again, they give it to Holtzman in tennis. Matlack gave up the goal for ball. Didn't pitch horrible, but he takes the loss. Again, in reality, the Mets won 2-1. to one. In ours, the A's win 4 nothing. So we might play a game, too, if you guys would like. We'll see how the views go. And anyway, that was a look at the animation. Uh... Let's see what they have projected for starters. I don't know if they're the real starters. We're going to stick with real lineups if we do this and the starters. Other than that, then I'll make my mixes and matches. I'm playing as the A's, uh, the Mets. excuse me. So let's see if I remember how to do this. Playoff coverage, that's what we do. So they have Tom Seaver versus Vida Blue for Game 2. Yeah, that'd be cool if that's the actual matchup. It might be. I haven't checked it yet, So, but I will. All right. Al Red Sox fans saying thank you very much. Health and happiness. Check out the friends of the community. And subscribe. Till next time we meet. Watch out for that curveball in the dirt though. Holtzman was throwing that fastball with a lot of movement. God bless you. You know what's coming folks. Peace.